The flag is raised. So the runners now taking their final turn on a very short run to the first of the 18 Grand National fences here. Two plain fences before they take the formidable chair. And they're walking forward very quietly. Touch kick lining up on the wide outside together with Cave Adventure and Heist. Bo Bay leading them in in the center. Flying Angel right on the inside. Creeping forward. And they're off. On the very short run towards the first, Didero Vallis is away alertly. Flying Angels having to be ridden along to pick up the bit right on the inside together with Federici as they cross over the first. Federici just led over that. And down at the first was the French Raider, It's Jennifer. It's Jennifer has gone at fence number one. Felix de Giles immediately up on his feet. 13 of them continue towards the second. Federici, Flying Angel, and Didero Vallis were the first two. Heist was at the back of the field with also Cave Adventure towards the rear of the field as now they face up towards the chair and it is Federici who has got the lead to Didero Vallis and Flying Angel on the inside. On the outside is Calaro Boy who will jump in fourth position and then Gold Present and they're all safely over. Ultra Gold is next followed on the inside by Bo Bay. After Bo Bay is Hogan's height as they cross over the water jump and the leader Federici got in very close, had a good look at that water but he's over safely to Calaro Boy racing in second. Flying Angel on the inside, racing in third. Didero Vallis in fourth. And then Ultra Gold is in fifth. Gold Present on the inside is in sixth. Bobe is racing in seventh as they go under the Grand National start. Then Hogan's Height on the outside with Gwen Berbus running now alongside. Touch Kick is already just being pushed along. A couple of lengths back to Wishful Dreaming as they race on now towards the Melling Road. A break there a further six lengths to Kaif Adventure, who only has one behind, and that is Heist as now they race on towards fence number five. Calaro Boy up on the outside, Federici up against the inside rail, and they were the first two. Didero Vallis was over in third position. They're all safely over, very slow over that towards the rear of the field was Cave Adventure, who landed very steeply. He's only got heist behind him. Over the next, Calaro Boy made a mistake in second position. All the leaders are safely over, jumping away, markedly away to the left over that fence was Cave Adventure, and Cave Adventure is being pulled up by Richard Johnson at the back of the field. Over over an open ditch. Federici the leader. A bad mistake by Wishful Dreaming at the rear of the main group. Federici Claro Boy with Ultra Gold towards the outside now in third. Didero Vallis will jump in fourth position. And then Flying Angel and Gold present alongside him. Followed by Hogan's Height. And these are followed by Gwen Silly Berbas. And then towards the inside is Bo Bay as they go now towards the fence taken before Beaches. Fence number nine. Federici on the inside just had the lead. Two on these outside. Claro boy and then racing between them Didaro Vallis with ultra gold flying angel gold present touch kick out very wide wider than Hogan's height and then Gwen Silly Bearbus and Bow Bay and then wishful dreaming and heist is last as they go over Beecher's Brook a peck there on landing by wishful dreaming and heist is tailing off at the back of the field there are 12 of them left at halfway in the Grand Seft and they go towards Foynaven which was the 11th and Federici led a mistake there by flying angel he got very low there at Foynaven. They go now towards the canal, the 12th. And Federici and Will Kennedy have the lead over Calaro Boy and Liam Hurd racing in second. Didero Vallis on the inside will jump in third position. Gold present in fourth. Ultra Gold is in fifth. Then touch kick towards the outside of Hogan's Height. Then Flying Angel, Gwen Silly Berbus and Bobe as they go over six out. And that was Valentine's and all the leaders jump it well. Heist still going in 12th but tailed off. Last Last of the main body of the field is Wishful Dreaming as they now go towards the fifth from home. Kilaro Boy touches down together with Federici and then the top weight Gold Present followed by Didero Vallis on the inside the grey Flying Angel. Out wide next is Hogan's Height then Touch Kick and then Ultra Gold as they go over the fourth from home which is the final open ditch. Bow Bay in the red and white stripes is trying to stay on. Glenn Silly Bear Bus is being driven and then Wishful Dreaming. Heist is tailed off. Three out. Liam 
Hurd and Kilaro Boy will just have the lead over Federici was low in second and on the outside Gold Present creeping into it followed by Hogan's Height and then after these is Didero Vallis as now they go over the Melling Road they have two fences to go in the Virgin Bet Grand Sefton and the leader is Kilaro Boy. Kilaro Boy running over these big fences for the first ever time still has the lead. Around his outside now is Gold Present, the top weight, who's travelled really well into contention. Still right there, Flying Angel on the inside of Didero Vallis, and the red cap around the outside is Hogan's Height, another one who is debuting over the Grand National fences today. Bobe is next to the field, followed by Touch Kick, and then Wishful Dreaming, who's trying to stay on, having got outpaced early, and they're coming down towards a second from home, tailing off now Gwen Bearbus and also Federici who's going to be pulled up before two out and on the outside it is Hogan's Height and Tom Cannon who now take the lead. Bo Bay will give chase into second. On the outside Wishful Dreaming is continued to stay on so to his touch kick. The final fence of the Grand Sefton and Hogan's Height has got the lead. Bo Bay was over in second. Wishful Dreaming in third. Then touch kick and Didero Vallis. No more jumping to be done. They're racing towards the elbow. Tom Cannon and Hogan's height are out in front to Bo Bay and Henry Brook in second. On the outside, Wishful Dreaming and Jonathan England. They're straightening up with just over a half furlong to go and Hogan's height running over the Grand National fences for the first time has jumped them with aplomb. He's run them ragged. A winner for Jamie Snowden and Tom Cannon. Hogan's height has won the Grand Sefton. It's going to be close for second between Bo Bay and Wishful Dreaming. Followed in fourth by Flying Angel. In fifth came Didero Vallis. Others to finish touch kick, ultra gold, and then last of those to finish was Kilaro Boy. The result of the eighth race, first number eight, Hogan's height and a photo finish for second place, first number eight and a photo finish for second place. Also, Federici was going to be pulled up before two out. And on the outside, it is Hogan's Height and Tom Cannon who now take the lead. Bo Bay will give chase into second. On the outside, Wishful Dreaming is continued to stay on. So to his touch kick, the final fence of the Grand Sefton. And Hogan's Height has got the lead. Bo Bay was over in second. Wishful Dreaming in third. Then touch kick and Didero Vallis. No more jumping to be done. They're racing towards the elbow. Tom Cannon and Hogan's Height are out in front front to Bo Bay and Henry Brook in second. On the outside, Wishful Dreaming and Jonathan England. They're straightening up with just over a half furlong to go and Hogan's height running over the Grand National fences for the first time has jumped them with aplomb. He's run them ragged. A winner for Jamie Snowden and Tom Cannon. Hogan's height has won the Grand Sefton. It's going to be close for second between Bo Bay and Wishful Dreaming followed in fourth by Flying Angel. In fifth came Didero Vallis. Others to finish, touch kick. Ultra going off now, Gwen Silly Bearbus, and also Federici was going to be pulled up before two out. And on the outside, it is Hogan's Height and Tom Cannon who now take the lead. Bo Bay will give chase into second. On the outside, Wishful Dreaming is continued to stay on. So to his touch kick, the final fence of the Grand Sefton, and Hogan's Height has got the lead. Bo Bay was over in second. Wishful Dreaming in third. Then touch kick and Didero Vallis. No more jumping to be done. They're racing towards the elbow. Tom Cannon and Hogan's height are out in front to Bo Bay and Henry Brook in second. On the outside, Wishful Dreaming and Jonathan England. They're straightening up with just over a half furlong to go. And Hogan's height running over the Grand National fences for the first time has jumped them with aplomb. He's run them ragged. A winner for Jamie Snowden and Tom Cannon. Hogan's height has won the Grand Sefton. It's going to be close for second between Bo Bay and Wishful Dreaming, followed in fourth by Flying Angel in fifth.
and the starting price.